All right, we're going to take a look at how to change out a uh, JST connector. I received a set of 10 which are wired uh, reverse polarity. So you can see coming out of the battery here, we've got red going to black and black going to red. That is not a good thing. That's just going to break a bunch of equipment. So I messed around with this for a while. I usually just crack the connectors open, but I actually figured out how to get them open properly. Um, with this end of the connector, uh, you actually cannot use a sharp object. You want a dull, uh, flat object, like a paper clip. And what you want to do is you want to go in... Um, uh, if you take a look down the barrel of the connector, you'll see that there's a square hole... Uh, let me just flip this around... that is above the pins. And tempting as that may be, that is not the spot to go in. In order to release it, you actually have to go below the pin. So you put your paper clip in, just try and line it up with the pin, and then basically jam it in there and wiggle around like you're picking a lock. And once you feel yourself poke through, you will have flattened out that, that pin. You can do the same thing for the other side. Get it underneath wiggle it in there, you're trying to just flatten out the locking pin. Once those two are flat, you should be able to remove your connectors. Voila! Now, in the process of flattening out that locking pin, if we want to reuse this connector, we need to restore it. So the way that you do that, there are two, um, or sorry, on each one, there is a single hole in the top. And you can take a fine instrument, a needle, or in my case this pair of tweezers, and you actually want to just see if we can get it to focus up close. You want to stick this into that hole, and then you can push through and get that connector popping, get that tab popping up again. That locking tab has to just be up in order to grab and lock on the next insertion. So you can do that. Same with the other one. Go through the uh, hole in the base. Just poke through. Get that tab lifted like that. And now they are ready to be reinserted the right way. And you can see here from a good cable that when that little ridge is at the top, the ground should be on the left-hand side. So we take our cable and ridge at the top. We want to go into the left side. Now, the way that these go in, that little tab that's sticking out has to be at the bottom, and it actually rides inside the base of this channel here, like that. Once it's in, you'll hear it click, and it's locked. Same thing for the other one, and your connector has had its polarity reversed. Now for the other connector, much easier. This one, all you have to do is poke down the tab that's sticking out because the locking connector is exposed here so you just take something sharp press it down and then you can remove your two tabs and again you want to um, fix up that tab so that it will lock again in this case you're not poking through the bottom uh, these ones have a little um, ridge on them so we go into the side here and just pop that up a little bit. And same with the other one. Get in there. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, I didn't get that first one. That's sticking up. Now they're ready to be inserted. Now in the case of the JSTs, 
If your eyes are good and you got a magnifying glass, you may be able to see they are actually numbered. And the connectors are one for ground and two for positive. There we go. There's the one and there's the two. And uh, there is similar numbing, numbering on the, uh, on the other connector. So in this case, again, the tab is going to be sticking out like so. So we can get it in and hear it click and lock. There you go. And the second one. Get the tab pointing up. And... Oh, I think I put that one in sideways. There we go. Locked and ready. Here's the other connector. Let's see if I can find the numbers for you. There's the, the one and the two. One is ground, two is positive. And that's it. Now you've swapped polarity on your JSTs. Paperclip and something sharp and pointy.